One thing is what we know, and the second thing is how can we explain it to somebody else. Ojo, el cruce de los dos ejes no es cero. Si se dan cuenta, el cero está fuera del, del centro. In the room, I am with 20, 25 people of different ages, from different regions, working with a different group of farmers, helping them to translate the technical messages into the language that is understandable by farmers. Within one day, we cover several topics. We start uh, looking on the learning styles. One important thing is to realize that the people to whom we are speaking are not all learning in the same way. When after one hour of talking and doing a little questionnaire, they finally start to think about themselves and realize, oh, I didn't even know that I am looking on the stuff in this way. And after that, we look on different phases of preparation for presentation, focusing on what are my objectives, what I want to really say. We also look on a couple of recorded presentations and we analyze what are the good and bad aspects of what we can see. Always, all participants enjoy is the practical part in the afternoon. The first one is the poster to raise awareness about the new technology. The uh, second one is a flyer where the idea is to provide more technical details, the benefits, uh, possible risks. Uh, third product is a short video in the field. And here many people discover they don't know their facial expressions. They didn't realize how they look like in the eyes of the others. And the last product is uh, the radio interview. So one of the technicians or two of them actually take on the role of the farmer to the point when they have to think, okay, what the farmers really think about, what difficulties, where was the turning point that they realized the conservation agriculture has value. There is a tremendous bank of knowledge and they have rarely an opportunity to actually share non-technical aspects of the extensionist work. To learn more about some of our training activities, visit simit.org.